everyone. Welcome to Super Sisters Play. Hey. This is Princess RPG. <gasps> is that your name still? Yeah, is oh, it? Okay. I didn't know. We had um, some name changes. Yeah, we had some name changes. Okay, going so you're on. still Princess RPG. I guess. In this? Okay. When we're doing this? Or should I yeah. just be gaming archivist? All right, anyway. Yeah, no, no, whatever you want. And Super Nintendo Girl. And we left off last time. Which having... was a long time ago, oh, by the way. We need to roll. Oh, shit. We need to roll. We're dead. There's nothing we can do. Uh, <laughs> we Shit. took way too long with our intro. <laughs> That's us just talking too much. Oh well. We left off. We had gotten um, the doctor's spine and the foot in the bag, and now we're going to help this poor spineless doctor out by giving <laughs> him what he needs. Literally. Yeah. Quite literally, exactly what the guy needs. <laughs> Dr. Mort Cadaver. Ha! Huh. Now there's a name to inspire. To inspire what? To inspire not confidence. <laughs> what? Why? 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 The guy? Why? I don't understand. That's a weird. Yeah. Okay. So the last time we left you, we had a really nice saved game. <laughs> and we kind of lost it. Yeah. May I help you? So, if you see some duplicate Hello. stuff, we apologize. I am Rosella of Daventry. M may I ask you a few questions? Certainly, Miss Rosella. Do come in. Quickly, please. <laughs> He's kind of cute. He's like, come on in. Yeah. My fair lady. He's got a big donk. Is that because he doesn't have spine? I think, yeah. <laughs> I think all of the stuff that normally would be his height is in his butt. <laughs> I wish that's where all my height went. Into my butt. how may I help you? I'm seeking King Otar, ruler of the trolls. I've heard that he's been detained in this land. Have you heard anything about him? No. But I bet that wicked militia is behind it. God, militia's behind everything. Destruction of our beloved rule <laughs> of Demish. This land has slipped into chaos. What is that a picture of? Doesn't it kind of look like his house? Oh, I thought it looked like him, like a silhouette of him. Oh, because he's got like no spine. Yeah, clever. I'm just the town doctor. I spend a great deal of time replacing limbs, reattaching those, as you know. But I could hold my own against those kids. Until last week, that is, uh, when I gave my spine away to a charming lady who fallen off a cliff. It seems that without a backbone, I can't stand up to anyone. <sighs> that is a problem. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> excuse me, my dear. I must fill out some death certificates now. So he just gave away his spine? I don't know. Maybe someone stole it. Could you imagine that? No, he said he gave it to a lady. Aww. Wait a, <laughs> wait a listen. <laughs> I have nude, toxic toadstool powder, monosodium glutamate. Yikes. <laughs> just like your normal food. Jeez. I love how he invites you in and then you just is like, alright, I'm gonna do my paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> I've got this sweet babe in my house, but... Quite a nice <laughs> coffin. What do you use it for? Most of my patients like to nap here while they're waiting, my dear. Look how crazy she looks. I know. It's so comfortable. So comfortable. All right, we're going to check out one more thing. We're going to do something very nice for the doctor. Oh, okay. Oh, what's wrong with him? Oh, Mr. Nibbler here is in for an attitude adjustment. Hey, lady. <laughs> Got any fava beans? <laughs> what is Do you that? know what that's from? No, explain it. Um, you need to watch Silence of the Lambs, which is a very scary movie about basically a cannibal. Yeah. And uh, that quote would make sense after that. Well, the beans? Yep. Why? Because the guy eats some man's liver with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Ew. Ugh. Alright, so let's go ahead and give the doctor the spine because every person needs a backbone. Amen. Dr. Dabber, I have a surprise for you. Yay, me. 
me, 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 me. Oh my god. Oh god. Did you god. see him just eat his spine? It's <laughs> not how it works. <laughs> you don't know science. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at this one item that doesn't match the background of the <sighs> bookcase. Every young lady needs a dear little pet to keep her company. I made him myself. Uh, thank you, Dr. Cadaver. <laughs> he must be hideous. What? So you never get to see what's in the box? Just a weird pet? No, I don't think so. Spare parts. Fragile. It's got some air holes. Aww. Now, pets... What would you do with a weird pet? I know that there's probably a group of hideous children that would love a weird pet. I suppose. Well, so we have to see. go to the treehouse, the pumpkin treehouse? Yep, we're gonna head on back to the pumpkin treehouse. Walking like a babe. Always. Okay. Wow, that thing goes on for ever. <laughs> so you'll notice they're tossing something around. It's the rat. It's the grave digger's rat. Oh. And he needs that back. Why? It's just a rat. He It powers his grave digging machine. Oh. Yeah, shut up, kids. Right? Hi, lady. You're not creepy. <laughs> No. No, thank you. <laughs> She's Say, more polite than really I was. Nice He's the most mortiferous rat in Ooga Booga. Would you like to sell him? No way! But All what right. about a weird pet? What if I trade ya? This seems to be a trade-based economy. Yes. Is that a severed head? No, it's something better. It's the best, weirdest, creepiest pet in the world. Nah -uh! Oh yeah? Look! <coughs> oh, oh that's like okay. a horn for a <laughs> nose. But how do you know they're going to give you the rat back? Come up here and bring it yourself, lady. Oh my god, no. Um, no. Because yeah. you're on, super now. creepy. <laughs> so what are you supposed to do? So you, as soon as this thing lets me, just put the box on there, not yourself. Okay, if you put yourself up, will you die? Probably. Okay. <laughs> Those kids are super they're gonna horrible. They're going to shrink her head. Right? Well, it seems they love their new pet. Yeah, but we need the rat. He's biting me! <laughs> oh, God, this place is so weird. The rat will come to you. Aww. He's so cute. And look at the little heart. Oh, cute. Aww. It'll be okay, little fella. Let's get out of here. You know, mice are big stars in this story, right? Like there was the toy mouse. Oh yeah. And now there's this um, grave digger's rat. Yes. Oh my gosh! Please don't come out, boogeyman. <laughs> you are absolutely the worst. Hey. Hey hey. 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 All right. Yeah. So let's reunite these pals, these buddies. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. Did she just rip him around yes, by his out tail? of her chest. Jeez. <laughs> that rat has the life. <laughs> oh. Thank you, lady. Thank you so much. The only talent in the world is for digging. But I'll dig you a grave anywhere you want. Take this horn. This what? Horn. Ah, uh, right.
right in his cap. If you blow this horn, I'll hear you. And I'll come in. Now, Icky you has creepy okay. red eyes. Yeah. Let's go fire that bad boy up. <laughs> so he'll come and save her? He'll come and dig a grave for her wherever she wants. Oh, okay. So that obviously comes in. Yeah, that handy. comes into play later. Actually, what? Is what? The That's thing's the, what? The thing's way too big to dig a grave. And a mouse powers it? I don't see how that works. Wow. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, he's going to town. <laughs> he's having a really good time. So what do we do next? So now we know that he can dig a grave wherever we need one. We're gonna oh. go here first. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to our friend, the kitty cat. <laughs> she was my bestest friend. Yes. Oh, beautiful! When a kitty has to leave the world, oh so yeah. It's alive. Those jerks. These guys are awful. They're horrible. Oh, They're worse than the boogeyman. In the prime. Are you gonna save it? I'm totally gonna save it. Alright! Evil children exit stage left. <laughs> now you have a chance to hurry up and save the kitty by using the hammer and chisel. Oh, what else could you have done? Nothing. Okay. You could not, you don't have to save the cat. Right, cat? But to get the best ending, you have I to save the cat. I know what you seek, my lady. I heard you speaking with my friend, Dr. Gadaver. The king of the trolls is imprisoned in the home of the boogeyman. Beneath <gasps> the deadfall. Thank you. I must go to him at once. Wait. There's something I wish to give you. Put out your hand. It is one of my lives, my lady. You saved one of mine, so I feel I owe it to you. I still have eight left. <laughs> oh, I this was the cat's possibly. first life? That's not bad. Oh, the boo boo. <laughs> so you could just, like, not figure out how to save it, like, if you clicked on it or something? Yeah, if you didn't know that this is what an extra life looks like. Weird. You're awesome. If you didn't know to come back down here, or you didn't know how to save the cat, you wouldn't get that extra life. Oh yeah, you just could have not even gone back. Yeah. So then, that makes you have the good ending? Yeah, there's gonna be, it's gonna come into play later. And you'll notice if you come back here, the grave digger is gone, but there's this handy dandy shovel that's still sinking around. How do you figure this stuff out? Oh, you just have to walk around, you know? Yeah. Okay. So was, does that happen where the cat is in the box only after that one scene you have to go back, or...? Yeah, it's, um, after all this other stuff. But, so, like, it, let's say if you went the other way, and then you went back, it, the scene would have I don't know. I don't know exactly okay. how many different ways you can get the scene. Alright. A creepy dog. Yeah. Okay, don't kill me. Ignoring. Right? I don't know you. Stay away from the bone bush. Um. I think that's where the boogeyman lives, so I think we oh. need to have the gravedigger do the digging right there. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna call him here. Where exactly do you want me to dig? Right there. Yep. Oh, nice. Jeez, lady. Are you sure? Are you positive? Look at my model walk. I'm very serious. <laughs> strut, <laughs> strut, strut, strut. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. And back, miss. Alright, here we go. 
That would be the boogeyman's grave. Yeah. Just a pile of... <laughs> Do you notice he's like 20 bazillion times bigger? Yeah, it's so weird. Alright, so here we go. Because we are brave as hell. Oh my god. I don't remember this part. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you'll notice there's this huge coffin with a lock. Okay. And if you, re like, if you remember, we saw that those symbols in a couple of different places. Yeah. Um, painted. So we, it was, what was it? I, you remember, right? Skull, spider, bat. I think it was skull. Bat, spider? Bat, spider. Oh. oh. Okay. If you wouldn't have done it, would you die, probably? <laughs> yeah, the boogeyman shows up. Your oh. King Otar? Yes. Who? What? Hello, oh. my little <gasps> rose. I hope you two get along since you're going to spend the next thousand years together. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh, and to be trapped in there with some dude you just met. I know. Oh, oh my god. No. No. <gasps> you called it? I totally <laughs> called it. I love how it echoed. <laughs> echoed into space and time. <laughs> That's handy. So, with Matilda's help, I sought you out, Your Majesty. You are a brave young woman, Princess. I am sorry things have taken such a dreadful turn. Don't worry, King Otar. I'm sure we'll find a way out. Alright. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I don't know, maybe the boogeyman said. We best hurry up about it. I don't know what that noise means. He has a magic little light, though. That's nice. I know, he's a handy dude. So if you remember, this was King Otar's little toad from when he was little. <gasps> We're gonna give that to him. King Otar! Matilda said this thing was magical! <laughs> she seems My really stressed out <laughs> suddenly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Possibly dig us out. The jewel that brings him back to life is set in my armband. Blast! I can't pull it loose. So you just happen to have something that can help him out with that. Oh. If you don't do this fast enough, you will die. Oh, wow, okay. Which, how useful. Dig! <laughs> dig. <laughs> so what did he chisel out? Just a hole into the ground. Oh. Because apparently this closet cadaver thing doesn't have a bottom. Alright you guys, we're gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching Super Sisters Play, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!